So what is exactly that we need to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to assemble a diverse group. How many of you are missing one of these groups here? Because these are essential to create the conflict. If you have no conflict in your group, I guarantee you, you have incremental innovation. You're optimizing. Where's the conflict? And the conflict is not negative. I'm not talking about disrespect. That's not what I'm talking about. We respect people. We talk to people with fond regard. These are our colleagues. These are our life mates. We care about people. But conflict, that's constructive. So what I'm telling you is no safe spaces, no trigger words. We have the conversation. It's the American way. But we have it respectfully to get to the next place. How many would like to have that right now in Washington? Wouldn't it be great if the whole healthcare debate, it should be all privatized or it should be all public? Aren't there a million places in the middle of that? Isn't that where innovation resides? Instead of spending another trillion dollars on this, can you imagine what we'd create? But we're not doing that now because we're not engaging the other, because we're not looking for the other. You stay in your social media pods that you've got, you'll never find the other. Your life will be more comfortable and you will never do anything worth anything when it comes to growing. You're maintaining your life, that's all you're doing. So first, put your Fantastic Four together. Number two, engage them. Be deeply interested. I love millennials, I love the yellows. They make me crazy, I got these labs, they're filled with yellows, they come in late, they go home early, they're all on their phone when I'm talking, all this crap. But I have to engage them and I listen to them because they have something I don't have because they're gonna help do something that I can't do. So the first thing I need you to understand is surround yourself with people who aren't like you. I need you to understand that you have a portfolio life. You can't manage everything the same way. How you innovate is what you innovate. How you innovate is what you innovate. It's like having a hammer, a wrench, a screwdriver, and a hammer. They're all effective. You need all of them. You don't use them interchangeably, do you? So what the biggest problem I see is that people say, I want radical innovation. I want that green kind of artist innovation. It's a great. So what we're going to do is change the gene pool, speculate markets, run a lot of experiments, diversify our pipeline. No, I'm going to run a, I'm going to run a highly optimized process. Everyone's going to be certified in the process. It's going to 12 process. Everyone's going to do the process. It's going to be called the Air Force Way. And I'm going to get radical innovation. You know the truth of it, don't you? No, you're not. You're going to get incremental innovation. It's going to be quality and it's going to be effective and that's virtuous, true and good. But you are going to accidentally do what? You're going to accidentally strangle your forward position. I want you to think about it for a minute. How come Sears didn't become Amazon? How come McDonald's didn't become Starbucks? How come Microsoft didn't become Google? Because they were too busy trying to do one thing to create the opposite result. It doesn't work that way. Second, you have to create the vision together. That's what conflict does. It makes us find the place where we can get to a new place. Not a compromise. Compromise is death. When you engage, you create the new vision. And I think that's what we've heard here today. That's what's exciting to me today. We're trying to create a new Air Force. How does the old Air Force go with the new Air Force? That's what we got to figure out, don't we? We can't get rid of fighters. We got to have fighters. But how, do, how does that relate to the new stuff we're doing? How do we sync this up? That's the conversation you need to have. I'm finger wagging at you now. I'm talking to you like you're a Fortune 500 company. That's the, that's the conversation you need to have because that creates the new way, the third way, the hybrid way, the culture and competency that goes with it. I'll leave you with this thought and one final thought. Stop believing you can see the future. Make smaller, wider bets. Stop choosing big, go faster. You heard this from all your generals. Stop mistaking your managers for your innovators. Start hiring weirdos. Having more ambition than capability. Build on the capability you got. Starting at the center, no, start at the outside in. Listening to the wrong people. Listening to the people who are going to move first. They're not, the, they're not your rivals. The people who are going to move first are the, are the startups. You're going to be the last people leaving a burning building. And finally, failing to connect the dots. You have to connect the dots. I want to leave you with the DeGraff hypothesis. This is probably what they'll put on my tombstone. Of all the stuff I've written, this is what people remember. The amount of innovation an organization produces is inversely related to the number of stupid PowerPoint slides, ridiculous elaborate process diagrams it makes about innovation. Just do it.